I don't think I want to marry you anymore. No? No. You're not clean enough to bring in the house with nothing. Oh, yeah. Before I start screaming. Get out of here! Quick before I start screaming! 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 Ah! Ah! Good morning, madam. Is Mr. Donkoff in? No, madam. He's over at Town Hall. Oh. How tiresome. I particularly wanted to see him. If you care to wait. No, thank you. Just tell him that Lady Chell called. Is there anything I can do? Yes. Yes, perhaps you can. Now, it's about the invitations for the municipal ball. Oh, yes. This is my list. He isn't to take any notice of the crossings out. You understand? Yes. His official list of all the aldermen and councillors should be added to this. Added to this. And I want all the invitations out by Wednesday at the latest. Wednesday at the latest. Thank you. Good day. Allow me. Thank you. I'll tell Mr. Dunkoff the moment he gets back. Splendid. Thank you. Thank you, my lady. Hello, Denry. How's your mother? Fine, thanks. That's his car. Know something? No, what? You read too many comic books. <laughs> well, he's real abstract. He's um he's different. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'm cute, too. Move. Move. <laughs> Is that meaning me? Is that meaning me? Well, I guess I better do a little reading. I brought Dr. Brubaker's manuscript home with me and <laughs> Okay, where is it? Where is the other one? I know it's lurking here somewhere to get me. Where is Captain Video's other roller skate? Now, who's that? What is it? I'm terribly sorry to bother you, but I forgot the key to my front door, so I had to ring your bell. I feel so silly. It's perfectly all right. Anytime. Anything else I can do for you? 
Yes, would you mind pressing it again? Press what? The button. My fan's caught in the door. Oh. Oh, of course. Thank you. Do you live in our building? Yes, in the Kaufman's apartment. I took it for the summer while they're away in Europe. Well, isn't that nice? I know you'll be very happy here. It's a very charming little building. Very quiet. No dogs, no children. Just two interior decorators and you. <laughs> and of course me. You all right? Oh, sure. Fine, fine. Well, good night. And good night. One of these days, you may want to come back. I want to be there that day. I want to stand up in your tears and splash about in them and sing. I want to be there when you grovel. I want to be there. I want to watch it. I want the front seat. I want to be there when you, when your face is rubbed in the mud. There's nothing else I can hope for anymore. There's nothing else I want anymore. There's a call for you downstairs. Well, can't be anything good, can it? all of us. I don't understand you or him or any of it. Listen, Alison, I'm going to call your father. Oh, I'm going to ask him to come up and fetch you home. I see. Now you'll go when he comes for you. Yes, I'll go. Expect he should be here by four. Perhaps after you've gone, Jimmy will come to his senses and face up to things. Well, Mom will be late if we don't hurry. had a stroke. Oh, I'm sorry. How bad is she? They, they didn't say much. I think she's dying. Oh, dear. You ever seen anybody die? No, I haven't. For 12 months, I watched my father die when I was 10 years old. He'd come back from the war in Spain, you see. All my mother could think was that she was married to somebody who was on the, on the wrong side in all things. Perhaps she pitied him. I was the only one who cared. Hour upon hour, I sat in that little room. He would talk, you know, pour out all that was left of his life to a small, frightened boy who could barely understand half of what he said. All I could feel was, was the despair and the bitterness the sweet, sickly smell of a dying man. See, I... I learned at an early age what it is to be angry. Angry. Helpless. Train leaves in half an hour. You're coming with me, aren't you? I need you to come with me. Let's go. 